Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Well, it's gardening season. So I've got a contraption here. I say contraption, but it's a seed planter. So today we're gonna take you through and show you the seed planter and show you if it's worth buying. If it's not worth buying, I'll tell you what I think. This was passed down from my grandpa to me. So we'll show you how to use it, and let you know if it's worth using. All right, let's go have some fun in the garden. Stony Ridge. From Stony Ridge. Folks, bear with me today. My voice is really scratchy. It's allergy season and I've been out mowing. I mowed about 15 acres yesterday and boy, it just trashed my system. I didn't take any kind of allergy pill because I really don't believe in that kind of stuff. I'd rather just naturally develop an immunity to it, but oh, boy, I paid for it yesterday. So we came out with stupid should hurt shirts for you guys. By popular demand, folks were asking for these shirts, so we went ahead and came up with them. There'll be a link down in the video description, or you can go to bonfire.com and search the keyword stony and get you a shirt. But this thing is an Earthway Model 1001B. It was passed down from my grandfather who passed away years ago. It was passed down to me, and this is gonna be actually my first time using it. So I'm gonna let you guys know if this thing works or if it doesn't work, how to use it, and all the little features of it. It's a pretty cool little contraption, and hopefully it'll make planting our garden a little bit easier. Let me talk to you a little bit about the way this thing works. There is an arm on here, and it's right there. It comes off, and it marks your rows. So you can adjust this little adjuster out back and forth to mark your next row, depending on how close you want to plant your plants together. I don't think we're going to use that today because we already tilled the garden and we already piled up our little rows and we know what seeds we're going to put in. So the next little adjuster on it are these plates, okay? And we've got a whole little box of plates over here for different types of seed and we'll go into more detail on that. And the other adjustment is this guy right here. So this is what cuts into the ground and basically digs in and your seed drops in down through this tube and then it pats it back down on the hole there. So this thing is designed where you spin this front wheel, it spins this little apparatus, which spins one, you can see it going by here, watch. See that? Those are the, the holes that the seed would drop in. They actually drop them in this tube, goes down, feeds down in, and pops out the bottom here. Pretty cool contraption. We're gonna show you the little disc. We'll show you how to change them. We're gonna hit it up in the garden here and show you how this thing works. And let you know whether it's a big pain in the butt or whether it's a big time saver and a big back saver. Cause I know when you're working in the garden and you're bending over all day long, it's pretty rough on your back. This might save it. I think the price point on this thing is about a hundred bucks. So the really cool thing about this is this thing is like a lifetime machine. I mean, you buy it once and you've got it for a lifetime. My grandfather died 15 years ago and this was the last seed plate that my grandpa used to plant beans. Isn't that cool? So we're going to take this seed plate off and I'll show you, give you a little detail on how that works. So inside here, there's a little seed plate and basically you just hold the gear still and you turn it, it releases and you slide your little seed plate out. Really, really simple. We've got a box of seed plates over here. So let me show you a little bit more about how this works. So the front wheel will roll and these seed plates will spin through and the seed will drop in down through there as it rises up. Now, if it goes too far, it will drop out this side. So while you're using it, you need to have it tilted on a slight angle. Now to remove the seed plate, all you do is just hold one side, twist it, there we go, and off comes grandpa's seed plate. And this says it's for beans, small peas, and that's pretty much it. So there are all sorts of seed plates for this thing. This says radishes, medium radishes. This one is for corn, medium, and we'll be using that today. This one, I'm just kind of going through these. This one is for tomatoes, onions, cabbage, and all those little small seeds. And you can buy all these little plates on Amazon, any kind of plate you want to plant any kind of seed for this machine, it's really cool. This one's for beets and okra and Swiss chard. Pretty much just outlines all the uh, garden vegetables you might be using. And this is the last one grandpa used, peas and beans. Cool, grandpa was really gassy. So the way this is designed is as it rolls, it scoops up a seed and then drops it into the chute. It drops down into the ground and it spaces it. So if these were spaced closer together, the seeds would be in the ground closer together. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our corn disc in and we're gonna start sowing corn down the row. We'll show you how it works. We just slide this down in here and it goes over a little tab and then tightens down. Very, very, very simple. Okay, 
Now our corn disc is installed. You can see that spinning. Basically, it just goes on that little shaft in there, that little plastic shaft. Cool. This is Sweet Corn Non-GMO Golden Queen 2018. This is a half pound bag and the bag says it will cover a hundred foot row. So we're gonna actually do one, two, three, four rows. It says to space them three feet apart and plant three to four inches apart. So I'm guessing that's what the cedar is set up for. We're gonna go ahead and we'll pour these in the cedar. There we go. Now our bag says to plant them one and a half inches deep. Well, the cool thing about this is that you have a gauge on here. So you slide this little guy down and there's an index little spot on here that tells you how deep you are. So we'll set it at one and one half, okay? One and one half inches. It's labeled, it's indexed, it's ready to rock and roll. So now we'll take this, we'll raise up this little arm and we'll get it out in the garden, get the pushing. We've already got all our rows already set up here. We tilled the garden a couple days ago. Now you can see our little garden humps right here. These are about three feet apart. And we're just gonna run down the row, plant it and see how it works. So we're gonna start on the very end of our row and just give her a little shove all the way down through here. So, so, so much easier. We want it tilted ever so slightly that way so that it drops the seed in the appropriate place. All right, we're on our next row. We're just gonna slightly tilt it and let it rip. Guys, I'll be totally honest with you. I thought this thing was a gimmick. I thought it was gonna be a pain in the butt. It totally makes it easy, unless you hit a rock. Now, if you hit a rock or something, it'll let you know real quick, but totally, totally easy. Awesome, I'm gonna get out here and seed some more. Probably got enough for two more rows. Okay, so we've gotten to the end of our row. We'll turn around and head back the other way here. Got the kickstand, it's got a little kickstand on there. We'll just roll on with it. Man, so much easier. Got a few watermelon volunteers coming up here. Look at that. Guys, it's almost too easy. I, I just feel like I'm not even putting any seed in. It's so awesome. I can hear them dropping in as I go. So as I'm using the cedar, I'm learning a little bit. You need to lean it slightly to the right toward the uh, seed plate, and you need to be a little bit careful and go really, really slow, probably you know, one mile an hour, just a slow walk, and it drops the seeds out nicely. Let's put some more seeds in. So you know how we're doing this, because we gotta keep track of what we plant where. We're gonna put the date and the name of the plant that we planted and how many rows it is on our little seed marker here, and we'll stick that in the ground just to mark the area, just to make sure we remember, okay? So this is sweet corn, it's called Golden Queen, and we'll write that on there. Gold Queen, and then we'll write the date. Today's date is the 15th. There we go, stick it in the ground. It's a good idea to mark your garden with some stakes like this, just so you know the days that you planted and the things that you planted because you might have a lot going on and you might have a big garden like we do. It's a pretty big garden, so it's gonna be kinda of hard to keep track of what's what. So as the summer goes on and we make our way through the garden, we'll know where everything is and what was successful and what wasn't successful and what we need to fertilize and what we need to do what with, all right? Guys and gals, if you don't have a dead blow hammer in your tool chest, get one. These are so nice to have. A dead blow hammer, actually, it doesn't bounce when it hits, it sticks. It's pretty cool. I like to use it for driving stakes and stuff like that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna plant is peppers, okay? These are green peppers, so we've got our pepper plate in here, and we're gonna set, it says on the seed packet, to set it to one quarter inch. So we'll slide this up. See if I can get you a close up of that. So we'll slide this down to where it says one quarter inch right here, okay? All right, we'll raise our kickstand up and lean it and away we go. Nice. Well, I stand corrected. My assumptions that this thing wouldn't work worth a hoot was wrong. My dad told me you had a lot of trouble with this thing, but man, it's just a miracle worker. If your soil is nice and loose, this little thing just plows right through it. It does a great job. 
saves your back a whole lot. The only thing I really can't plant with it is my squash. So I'm not gonna plant my squash plants because I'm gonna do that in hills. But for things like kale and beets and corn and anything and everything, beans, all sorts of stuff, this thing's a great little tool. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you learned a little bit. If you have any questions, post them down there in the comments section. I'm curious about the row marker. Next year we may use the row marker to mark our rows. We may just till it out flat and use the row marker, or we may just till up another spot on the garden and plant some more corn just for fun. So thanks a lot, guys. Come on back and see me here on the channel. Be sure you pound that like button for me, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you again on the Stony Ridge Farm channel. Okay, so we'll see you next time. We've got a little more planting to do. It's hot, sweaty, and my allergies are tore up. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time. We'll Woo! come on down to the Stony Ridge, bring your wild.